Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Sorry, this is the most beautiful coffee you've ever seen. Oh my god. I love it. Listening, drinking, the rain. It's a good day! Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything. Your products, content you create, and even your time. Utilize Squarespace email campaigns to drive sales and engage your audience. Introduce your brand to new subscribers with welcome emails, announce upcoming sales, or send out a discount code. There are built-in analytics to measure the impact of each send. They have such flexible website templates, it's so easy to get started by choosing a template and then customizing it to look and do whatever it is you need or want. And a huge help is their analytics system. This is where you can gather and use all kinds of insights to aid in helping to grow your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash Olivia Reza Latte to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hello, everybody. Let me take these headphones out so I can hear well. Um, I'm obviously in a random room. I'm at my library. They have these rooms that you can use for silent reading and there's no one else in here. So I don't have to be silently reading right now, but I'm actually gonna start our thriller vlog together. And it is pouring rain outside. I've just finished my coffee. I just finished a wonderful book. I've just checked out six more. So we are going to do a little reading vlog and I'm so excited. I'm gonna aim for it to be thriller reading. Um, so I have two books. These are not gonna all be new releases. Some of them will be, some of them will be old ones that I just haven't gotten to yet. And we're just gonna, we're gonna mood read within the thriller genre because I'm in the mood for some murder and mayhem. So the first one I have is First Lie Wins. I got this one from Book of the Month and I did read the first chapter in the TBR where I got this book because I partnered with them so they sent it to me and I was actually really excited to read it and then I've heard nothing but good things about it. So this is gonna be what we kick off with. And the other one that I do know that I want to read is The Last Miss Parish. I am so happy I got the big font one of this. Um, I love those versions. I wish all books were large print, but <laughs> that may be just me. But we are going to start out with these two books. And then I actually tonight am going to the signing for the newest Finlay Donovan book. So I was thinking we might read that one in here as well, just for a fun little time, keep it thriller mystery vibes. But for now, I want to dive into this guy. So I am going to find myself a little playlist, maybe a podcast, I'm not really sure. I do like listening to podcasts that I've like already listened to before while I am reading, because it's. I really find comfort in reading in rooms with other people where like they're doing things or talking, whatever. And then I am just kind of like in my own little world reading, but I'm with people. It's like one of my favorite ways to read. So I will probably dig up a couple old series of podcasts to do that and just sit here with like it raining. This window is washed out, but it is so nice. Ugh. This is just like the perfect day off. my favorite bookmark and it will be used this entire vlog. Uh, 
Okay, hi guys. I'm home now. I have my little salad burrito thing and my basil, my blueberry basil lemonade. Why am I at a party doing this? <laughs> I read the first three chapters of First Lie Wins from Ashley Elston. And I read this at the library and I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm into it. I am already very intrigued. I think the way that this is set up is very well done of, it's not like a fl flashbacks are happening. It's not any of that that I feel like thrillers typically employ to like reel you in. It's dropping us right in the middle of someone's life and she's just doing weird things. And I'm into it. I'm liking it. So. I'm so happy to be reading thrillers again. Like, I just feel like thrillers signify spring and summer for me. That signifies it ain't freaking winter anymore. And I am happy. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Also, I scoped out some of the rooms in the library. And I definitely will be doing the library Patreon streams I keep talking about. Because it would be so easy for me to be able to live stream just like back in one of those corners. And just have like a reading date. I'm excited about that too. But for now, I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna keep reading and I'm gonna take a little nap, be a little crazy and then keep reading and then go to the signing. And that's the day. Hello guys, so I'm sure that you can hear the shower going in the background. I was gonna disclose I'm not in there, clearly. I'm here with you guys. Um, I am on page 49, so I'm about to hit chapter, nope. I am about to hit chapter six or seven, I think, but I'm about to hit 50 pages, which is usually when I can tell within a thriller. Sorry, Ginger's licking her paws, like <laughs> right by you guys. Let's Let's move you over here. So usually around 50 pages in a thriller is when I can tell if we are going to be enjoying this. And I can definitely say that I am. This feels like if you have watched that show, Ginny and Georgia, I believe it's called. We only watched the first season. That was enough for me. But I really enjoyed the mom character. I couldn't go on because I could not stand the daughter. I'm sorry. I just couldn't. But the mom, I was obsessed with that mom character. She was kind of like, I don't know if I'd say a con artist, but kind of a con artist. Con artist light. How about that? She wasn't really like, uh, I won't get into it. But she reminds me about, of this main character a lot. Like I'm feeling the the little the casting in my head coming to fruition and I am really enjoying it especially now that I have that picture going on I just feel like it's the perfect casting and this is I need to do like a book of the month reading vlog and just read all the book of the month books I own because book of the month truly is one of my favorite I think subscription services, not, not sponsored. I have worked with them, but I was using them before I ever worked with them. And then I continued in between and sometimes they would send me a box. It was real sweet. They sent me this one. Love y'all. But as if they're watching, but I really do like them to find books that I want to read. However, the only reason that I'm not subscribed to them is because I I'm subscribed to two other book boxes and they do special editions and the book of the month editions are not like they don't they're not signed they don't have sprayed edges they don't have different covers the two boxes I'm signed up to have UK covers so obviously they're not the ones that we get over here so that's why 
But I do check them every month to see what they've picked. And almost always, I will put a hold for the thriller that month. I see a lot of lit fic that I like. I like a very specific kind of lit fic. And I think I would call it lit fic book club. Like, book club lit fic. I don't like the trenches of lit fic that, honestly, I think my partner likes. I am more of, like, the Reese Witherspoon lit fic. You know? We dabble, but we don't dive. That kind of vibe. That's what I like. This one, Book of the Month Thriller, and it's it's standing. Two feet, it's standing. I'm liking it. I do like a little Book of the Month Thriller. And when I was at the um, El Cosimano signing, where did I get the Mino? Where did I get the other eye? I don't know. I kept pronouncing her last name wrong. So sorry. But uh, she mentioned Ashley Elston, and I was like, that name is familiar. Yeah, girl, because it's your current rate. <laughs> Duh. So we're set. We're set. We're good. We're doing great. However, I I have some more books, okay, for this TBR. So we're going to get going. Let's run. Let's run it. Hello guys, um, I'm a tall girl now, not really, I just have access to height. Um, hi, okay, hi, how you doing? I am on my standing desk, we haven't talked about that yet, we'll talk about it in another vlog, don't even worry, I know you were, but I got you, we will talk about it. Let's talk about this, so I do like to get about a hundred or so pages, I have such a need for habits and routines. Gee whiz, I wonder where that stems from. <laughs> Anyways, I get about 50 pages in to judge if I'm gonna vibe with it. I was check 100 pages or so in to really know the plot to come tell you guys. Cause y'all know that I am a girl that does not like to know too much about the book before I go into reading the book. It just feels kind of cool to have the plot itself a mystery. Now I like to have a general idea which is what I try to come up with within the first hundred pages to tell y'all so that you can have that if you want to go. Now the synopsis obviously Goodreads, Amazon, your library, like they all have access to the freaking book jacket. You can find it. But I just think, especially with thrillers, sometimes it's kind of fun to fully be like, oh, what is going on? So, in this one, we are, I read the flap, and I'm going off what I know, but I'm only going to really talk about, like, the first 10%. I'm not going to talk about plot details, because it's a thriller. I feel like you can give a thriller away like that. This is a woman we are following who is pretty much indebted to this man. She doesn't know his identity. It's Mr. Smith. He gives her name, location, and job description. And what it is, is she is going in pretending to be someone with that name and whatever. And then she gets the name of her person that she is supposed to get information from, find out something about, just get close to, find out something from their friends, just something like that. So she's doing that currently right now. However, as she's doing that, let me just make sure one more time. Yeah, so basically she's getting too caught up in this one little mission. She just moved in with the dude and she's like, oh no, I actually like him. But then something happens and I don't want to tell you because when I read it, I was like, what is that? Sorry if you can hear the Stardew Valley ambiance room in the background. It's playing in the living room and I ain't sorry about it. It's what we do in the mornings. I just made a huge pot of coffee, y'all saw, 
And now we're doing this. Okay? This is just, this is what Saturday morning is here. I don't know what to tell you. But this is so good. It's so compulsively readable. The writing style is so fast paced. I love thrillers so much. I always forget because I venture from them and I think I'm not a thriller girl anymore. I can't believe I ever read that stuff. And then I'm like, another. So that's where I'm at now. I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to go read it. Unless there is like a huge twist turn of events. Hopefully there is, but in a good way, not in a bad way. If it's in a bad way, I'll probably be back to talk about it. But it's only 300 pages. So about 100 pages in is when things start get to getting. Get to getting. It did. Last night, I really did contemplate staying up because I was like, I have finished thrillers in a day. I'm not going to. I mean, I probably will in this vlog later, but I'm not going to do it for this one because I started it too late in the day. But let's get going. I need iced coffee. Um, it is 4.25 p.m. And I want to keep reading this, but I, I want a decaf iced coffee to accompany it. So what I've been getting at the Dutch Bros lately is I will get a medium iced annihilator with oat milk. And if I'm going to work, I ask them to add in hazelnut. My hazelnut syrup is better. So. I'll be not asking them to do it, and I'll add it here. And then I ask for caramel drizzle in the cup because um, I like it. But I don't know if I want caramel drizzle in the cup today since I'm going to add my own hazelnut, and that actually tastes like something. Because my thing with Dutch Bro drinks is they're really good bases, but they don't taste like anything in particular. Like, they don't taste like coffee, and they also don't taste like the syrup all the time. Unless you get one of those combination ones where there's multiple syrups. Because, like, the Annihilator has, I think it's white macadamia nut or something. And so then adding in hazelnut gives it a little... But if you don't, it just kind of tastes like oat milk with a little hint of coffee. Which I don't hate. And it gets the job done. But it's just... It's not a straight up latte like I have come to enjoy. But let us, let us go. Chapter 18. I almost just knocked myself in the head with that. <laughs> Ready to read. Mm, 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 mm. Let me make sure my tiny little braidlets. I have hair, guys. Somewhere. Okay. Shh. Try to read.
Hi guys, so I am coming to you with a book finished. I completed reading First Lie Wins last night at like 10 30 or 11. It was so good. It was so good. It was a full five stars. I did not think every little thing I wanted completed and done in that book was going to get completed and done, but it did. It, and some of it was far-fetched. Like I genuinely was like, yeah, this isn't going to happen because no one cares. Like this is a thriller. We're not going to be doing all of this. She did all that. She did all of that. And it was fantastic. And I loved it. And I highly, highly recommend the writing was so easy to fly through. It was so compulsively readable, which is my favorite thing. And if it's true, I will talk about it all the time. And it's true. This one was. It was so, 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 so good. And yeah, we were off to such a good start with my back to thriller era. <laughs> and now we're picking up the next one. This is also from my library. This was a 2018 release though. So this is not particularly a new book. I actually think, what is this, six years old? Whoa. Uh, but this one I have read a little bit of. And I'm going to read a little bit more of it. And then we will discuss this later. I have some work to do, but then I'm going to be dedicating any time I have to read today to this and I will let you guys know. I will fill you in on my feelings. When I tell y'all I'm sat with my best life right now, like book, best friend, book, got my little pillow, sprints on the TV, Yes. However, we need to talk about this book. So I am reading The Last Miss Parish, page 81, and I'm enjoying it. It's giving all the rich people vibes I wanted. So far, we're following Miss Amber. Miss Amber wants to be <laughs> The Last Miss Parish, I think. And she is quickly becoming friends with the current Miss Parish and trying to, you know, just like weasel her way into her life. I'm sure she's going to try to, she's already kind of trying to like curate the friend group to a way that suits her. And then I do think that she's probably going to uh, try to win over those children, perhaps win over the man. We will see. However, I cannot stop laughing at the way that this book is written because the book is written very well, very fast to read, but it is so dialogue heavy. I like that. However, because we're not getting described like actions being taken, things being done, it's very much seeming as though this girl is just going around interviewing people. <laughs> like she's asking so many questions and people are not even flinching. I'm not doing spoilers, but she's like, oh, so she did this and what was working for her like? And what did her children do? And why did she quit? She was in the hospital. Why was she in the hospital? Did she seem like she was a danger? Was she going to do anything to you? How did you feel about that? Did you ever come into count? Like, it, it's just question after question. She like has no, there's no natural flow to this woman's conversation. And the way that people are not reacting to it, it's absolutely sending me. Because if someone asks me two questions in a row, I'm like, are you the CIA? What do you want? <laughs> And it's making me realize that um, the Scorpio in my chart is heavy and it is strong. Because why do you want to know anything? Why? Uh, but it's it's not hindering the book. It, but it's cracking me up. It's making me giggle. It's making me giggle. Uh, but I do feel as though she is a con artist. And it, she's not good. But I'm trying to remember. I think that she is just unwell. I do not think that she is a con artist. I think that she's obsessed. Like, she's unwell in she is not healthily approaching this friendship. Because I don't think she wants to be a friendship. I think she wants to scooch on in and become the person. 
I don't know if that's what's gonna happen. I'm assuming it is. That's very much the vibe of the book so far, but I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I'm having a good little time, and I will update you guys uh, as I get in. So, the main character, who we're like in the head of, Miss Amber, is absolutely taking me out. Like, her, her inner dialogue in her head, she's unhinged. This is third person, but it is the most first person like third person I've ever read in my life. It's really good. I enjoy first and third person to be honest. I like them both. I'm not one of those people that's like super picky on one or the other. Uh, but I <laughs> she is just taking me out. She is thinking the most unhinged responses to things going on. Like it is <laughs> it is just so funny like right now she's trying to interact with the kids and get them to like her and to know more information about her and she asked one of them like oh what do you like and she's like oh I like cameras and she's like why and so the girl starts telling her and then she's like I listened for about five seconds I only needed to know that she liked cameras I don't really care about the science behind it I was like now Miss Amber <laughs> and so she hates these kids she does I don't like Bella either though if you've read the book, I don't like Belly either. That child, that's all I have to say about that kid. Uh-huh. The train knows. Um, but yeah, this is just, this is too funny. This is too funny. Also, can I just say, I feel like I'm flying through this book because it is large print. This is why every book needs to be large print. Just saying. It's on. The rain noise is on. I got a little snack. I got this little snack. And I'm gonna read my book. Okay, I'm home. And I'm almost done with this. I'm on page 346 out of 540-ish. So I have, what, like a little under 200 pages left in this big old thing. So I don't know what that is mathematically. I'm not going to calculate it for you. But I will say, since this is the thriller vlog, um, review-wise of this thus far, I'm still liking it, but it is getting to a point of like, okay, all right. You know what this reminds me of? Not for the plot, but just for the vibes. Maybe a little bit, like some of the elements are similar, but this just reminds me of Verity by Miss, Miss Hoover. But this is better. Although that one was at least creepy. And I liked that it was creepy. And it was a faster read. But this one I think is more of a rich people drama vibe to it. Which y'all know I enjoy my rich people drama thrillers. But I'm not as obsessed with this one as I thought I would be. However, I'm not too too upset at it. Because it is a very fast read. Now, if this has an incredible twist. Is it going to bump up from a three star? Yes. Currently, though, it is sitting at a pretty steady three of, I don't regret reading it. It was a fun time, but it's not my favorite. I'm not going to keep it on my shelf. I'm very happy to check this out from the library. That's kind of the vibe it's getting right now. But it definitely, I can see it being, if I read this in 2017, I don't think I was even reading thrillers in 2017 so the first thriller I ever read was the woman in the window my partner suggested it and I was obsessed sorry loved the book I did I still stand by that but I think this kind of would be in line with that like I'd probably like this one a whole lot too if I hadn't read so many thrillers yet so if you're newer to the genre good starting point but if you're in the genre, I don't know if it's going to be like a show-stopping thriller for you. Now, I don't know if this one is either, but this is a new one. I have seen no one talk about it. I saw it in a bookstore when I went for a signing, and that is The Hike. Um, I just like the idea of picking up thrillers based on, there's a killer on their trail. A pun, signed, The Hike, it's, creep it's a name. Scary to me, I would never do it. Sealed. And then look at this creepy cliff she's about to be pushed off. Delivered. All the pieces are here. <laughs> no, but really, Nita Prose, 
loved the maid. Sarah Pinbro loved insomnia. Gillian McAllister, there was a book I read by hers that I liked. Was it Wrong Place, Wrong Time? Was that the one? I think the latest one I tried to read by her, I was like, mm, no. And then I think that's it. Those are the only three that I've read, but those were a big good three. So I am going to look at this one for the next thriller. We will see if that's what I pick. I have now one, two, three. No, that one doesn't look interesting. So I have five. I have five thrillers to pick from. So maybe we'll put up a poll and see what the girls say. I'm not really sure. But what I'm going to do right now is get dinner and then make some coffee. I have just got to part three and I fear that I must tell you this book is not good. <laughs> the dialogue is so cringe. Our villain character is so cringe. This book is the epitome of why thrillers, mysteries, honestly I really struggle with anything other than fantasy being 400 pages. I just don't think it needs to happen. I think a good thriller, a good mystery, gets the job done in 300 to max 350 pages. It's the equivalent of having a movie be like an hour and a half. Hour and 45 if we must. But as soon as they start getting into two hour territory, sometimes the plot. Now, TV shows that are super long, I can get with that. Vlogs that are long, we obviously not can get with that. But books can quickly go from being enjoyably long, like it's like, oh, I get to spend time in this world, to girl what? Girl why? Girl why? That is the evolution of this book. Is in the beginning, I was like, oh my God, what's going on, girl what? And then we get to part two, there's three parts. Part two, I'm like, girl why? And I read the part and it is the most repetitive <sighs> snooze fest. And then I get to part three. And this is the girl by. <laughs> because I'm ready to say goodbye to this book. I am on page 382, 482. Thank oh, jeez. I'd be so upset if I was 100 pages back. 482. Thank you, Ginger. I got about 80 pages left. I can't even believe that's the truth. And I'm going to go finish it now. And then I'm starting a new book. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, an angle, okay? Wow. Um, I was just in the library doing work and two more thrillers came in for me to read. How many thrillers do we read in this vlog? I don't know. I don't know. I think I might pick up the heiress next. I really do. I have, I have so many. We're gonna sit down and we're gonna look at all of them and we're gonna have to pick another one. We're gonna have to pick another one to like continue on with because there's, I have so many at this point. Okay, so I have narrowed down the three choices. We have The Hike, The Heiress, The New Couple in 5B. I don't know which one I want to read, but it is storming outside and I am in a thriller mood. I just was trying to read a fantasy and a romance and it's even a fantasy romance and I'm just not in the mood for even Faye. That's one of my favorite fantasy things. She's not even in the mood for that. So it's, we're back in the thrillers. Okay, I shouldn't have left. I should have just listened to my intuition and my mood reading, but we're gonna do a try chapter of this after dinner and pick one of these and read it late into the night. Before we go see a scary movie tomorrow, actually. Isn't that exciting? It's exciting. Hello, buddy pals. So, dinner was had. 
and I actually decided to put a poll up on Patreon of which thriller to read first between these two because they're the highest ranking now. I'm going to read a chapter of each. I won't lie. I'm leaning towards this one because it is just shy of 300 pages. But this one's got a weird paranormal vibe and I kind of want that. So I don't know. I'm probably going to read both though this weekend. Not going to lie. I'm in just such a thriller mood. But let's let's try it out and I'm probably going to stick with it. To be honest, I don't do try chapter very well because I just start reading it and then I finish it. <laughs> and that's it. Y'all, this is what I do. I watch Storm Chaser slash Radar live streams and I read. And we're going to start this little bookie book right now. Just kidding. Um, I have decided not gonna read this one yet. The Patreon votes swung, swung heavily in my favor, which is very exciting uh, for me because I love winning. So I will be putting this one as my little tripod for the moment, actually. And this is the one that has the most votes. This is the follow-up. I wanted to go with this one, but I also kind of want to read this one because I feel like the last thriller I read was very domestic rich people drama. This one I feel like is going to have a very weird Rosemary's Baby-esque vibe to it. And I'm in. I'm in. Oh, and they put me a bookmark in here. How nice. Um, yeah, because it's about a couple that inherits an apartment with a spine-tingling past in this haunting and propulsive thriller. And then the hike is about a girl, I'm pretty sure she's getting a little stomped on her hike. And neither of those are like rich people drama thrillers. I just need to have thrillers right now, but with different vibes. I feel like the first one that we read together was very domestic thriller suspense. And then the, um, the one I'm already trying to get out of my head Liv Constantine's one. That one, Miss Parrish. Yeah. She was a rich people drama that was just bad. And now we're going to do something. We're going to do something. I'm excited. <laughs> Hello, guys. Let's set you up right there, right there. Um, the new couple in 5B is the one that I went with. I am 101 pages in. I was reading it into the night, but I did get sleepy and I was like, I'm liking this too much to not keep going. So here we are. I think this is one of those ones that I just like, I can feel is better at nighttime. So we are starting our next round of reading at 6.52 PM on Friday. I'm watching some little reading sprints. I'm listening to my ambiance. For some reason, when I'm reading thrillers, I love to put on like a Southern swamp ambience. I'm not kidding. It's not giving Shrek. It's giving Louisiana. So I will put the link in the description to prove my, thank you Ginger for the snoring, to prove my point because it's great. And if I don't know why it just fits. It just fits the thriller vibe. I think it's because I started listening to this whenever I was reading Stacey Willingham books and those are thrillers that are set in Louisiana and it just makes sense. But I'm really liking this. The plot of it is a couple gets inherited Nope. Gets left their inheritance, which is an apartment off Park Avenue, and they move in. Apparently this was inspired by Rosemary's Baby. I don't know anything about the original, but I did watch a little bit of the latest American Horror Story season, which was also inspired by that, plus a book that I think was inspired by that. And this very much gives me that vibe. This gives me the vibe that I feel like American Horror Story wanted to go with but did not end up having. This is good. This is creepy. I'm into it. There was already a bunch of scenes, like jump scare scenes, that definitely freaked me out 
into the wee hours of the night. So I'm liking it a lot and we're gonna continue. This book is very much giving me, if you have read Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, if you haven't, I highly freaking recommend it. It's so good. But this book very, 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 very much reminds me of that. That one is about a woman who gets hired to house sit an apartment and there's someone who she makes friends with, goes missing. She's trying to solve that and unravels this entire hidden world. It's it's a lot. It's so good. This one reminds me of that, but make it like a paranormal twist. But it's one of those ones where you don't know if it's paranormal or not. Like, there are some paranormal thriller authors that are established as paranormal thriller authors. Simone St. James is one of those. I love her books. But I do love when we have a is it is it not vibe. Riley Sager's Home Before Dark did that so so well. Sorry, sorry to say it, the House Across the Lake did too. Oh, it did. Oh, it did. Oh, it did. And you can't tell me differently because I don't care because blah, 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 not listening to you. It was good. Anyways, oh my mom's texting me. <laughs> Hello. Damn it. I forgot to hold up my book. <laughs> you guys. <gasps> oh my god. I... I have not felt this way about a thriller in such a long time since... Home Before Dark by Riley Sager is the last time I felt this intensely about how freaking good. Look, I'm showing it to everybody. Hey guys, look under your seats. There's a copy of the book for you. Just kidding, I couldn't afford that. But if I could, I would, I'd do it. I would do it because I want everyone to read this. This is the word, this is the gospel, I need to spread it. This is so good. <laughs> Full five stars, can you tell? Full five stars. This was creepy. This was eerie. This was one of those gothic, creeping, eerie stories. However, gothic has a tendency to be very slow paced. That's part of the gig. This one has that gothic, creeping vibe without it being slow paced. So if you want to like that, but you just can't because it's too slow paced, boom, bada, bing, bada, boom, 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 here you go. You're welcome. This is so good. <laughs> The writing was good. The ending of the chapters was good. I love when a thriller will end on the chapter like cliffhanger, but I don't like it when it does it every single time because it starts to lose its, you know, little something something. This one did it just enough times to where you couldn't predict that it was going to do it, but it sated you because it did it just enough times. It was so good. Uh, like what I loved is... I guessed it, but I didn't guess the whole thing. Y'all know that is my favorite thing for a thriller is that you can see it coming, but you don't understand when, where, why, and how. But you can kind of guess who. And I guessed who-ish, and that was enough for me to feel like I did my job as a detective. Case closed, babe. But also as a reader who reads like, you know, to be thrilled and entertained with the thrillers, I was like, no way, no way. And I literally, my jaw actually dropped and it hurt because I just got work done on my dental. 
on that side and it did it popped and it locked and it hurt for a little bit but i was too busy reading the twist to care i was i loved it this is a combo for me of the vibe of lock every door by riley sager with the payoff and the feeling and the just the great creepiness and paranormal or is it paranormal activity of home before dark and those are my top two thrillers i love them so much and she did it. She did it. I am so shocked because I did not, I don't even think I finished the Cluded Cabin Sleep 6. I don't think I did. I think I looked up spoilers on a live stream and I was like, oh, glad I didn't finish. I really do. <laughs> she turned me around. I'm a believer now. Now, did I get really lucky by buying this one that I enjoyed it this much? Absolutely. Will I buy her book again? No. But I will absolutely put her on my auto loan list at the library. As soon as I find out a book's out from her, let's go get it. Let's go get it. And I even looked at the one stars, which I do a lot with books that I love to see if there's any critiques that maybe I missed because I just, I really do read for entertainment. It's my TV, it's my movies. Um, and none of the critiques I agreed with because they were all, I think, very subjective and they did not resonate. And I thought that this was a fantastic book. Highly, highly recommend. First Lie Wins and this are just, they are making up for the one bad we've read. And now we have moved on officially to the hike. I started this this morning um, while we were getting some coffee. I've made it to chapter five. In this one, we are following a group of women who are varying in age, career, life path, but they are all joining together because they're really close friends and they go on a trip, I think annually, and they are going to Norway to do some hiking. So it has just started pouring. We were just cleaning up the garage and it started pouring on us. So we paused and stopped. And now I'm gonna get to read this little book in the rain and I just couldn't be happier. Like the kids are fed, Jake is eating, my book is ready, I'm being fed because Miss Lee Sa did it. And now I need to go recommend this to someone on Instagram actually. I literally just thought of them as soon as I finished it because I'm like, oh, you're a new thriller person. But come here. Um, also, just wanted to say I did get another thriller from the library, The Coworker, by Frida McFadden. Frida McFadden will write you a twisty turny thriller. She really does. They're very entertaining. They are very much like a lifetime movie to me. What's up, bud? You're just whining to whine? I get that. And then the other one that came in is The Mostly True Story of Tanner and Luis. This I got because Elle Casamano recommended it at her signing we just went to. And it's a dazzling novel featuring college dropout and an 84 year old woman on the run from the law. So this is definitely more of a cozy vibe. I think I'm gonna do another vlog that has more of those books. So I'll save that. But this one we may pick up. We may, I don't know. When is the thriller vlog gonna end? I don't know because we're just getting hits after hits after hits. And I'm so glad I did not start filming the, uh, oh gosh, what is it called? I wanted to start filming a, this video ends when I get a five star and I'm so glad I didn't because it would have been one book. I wanted to do that when I started reading First Lie Wins because I thought it'll be a strong four. And then I wanted to do it when I read The New Couple and by B because it's like, could start out as a flop because I didn't like her other book. Five stars, both of them five stars. So, wow. I love thrillers, guys. <laughs> people, I need to also, can you recommend me people who read a lot of thrillers? I need more people because the people I listen to and follow are on the Goodreads, but I would love some thriller vlogs. Like I would love a thriller vlog and I would love him to chill. Jacob, my son, please. I have just woke up from a nap. I want to read this. It's raining outside and we're gonna make a hot coffee. They were gonna read.
hi guys so i am clearly in my car <laughs> outside of the house but i oops someone's coming we're gonna pretend like we don't see them remember the last person that came and pulled in right next to me and then hit my car and stared at me like why'd you do that i remember that guy parked so close to me anyways i finished the hike last night and I am giving this a solid three stars. Three stars for me is I had a good time while I was reading it. It was not boring. It was not meh. It was not meh. It was solid. I enjoyed my time. I don't regret reading it, but I don't need to own a copy. I'll never reread it. And I would only recommend it in very specific instances. I do think it is fun for the sake of, you know, like, a different kind of thriller. I feel like so many thrillers right now are very domestic thrillers or thrillers that are branching into the paranormal and the horror genre, which I love all of those. I love them a lot, but I also love to have something a little different. And I do think that this fulfilled that different feeling, but I don't think that it was the best thriller of all time. I would kind of throw this into Leanne Moriarty's arena of thrillers where it is definitely much more of almost like a fiction novel that has a thriller subplot going because I'll tell you this was creepy and like eerie of them being hiking in you know an unknown country to them in the forest and it's crazy weather and all these things unknown but truly it wasn't ever like oh my god I'm worried you know what I mean and I say that with the ending that this did have, which was, I honestly, I did not love this ending. I didn't think it needed to go that way. I think it was trying to be way more into fiction than it needed to be. Like just with the full circle moment with one of the characters, it was just a lot. It was a little bit too much, I dare say. But it was entertaining. I think it was fun. It was very fast paced. I think it took me two days to read. So I still enjoyed my time with it. And I think that's going to bring us to the conclusion of this little episode of Thriller Vlog with me. <laughs> we'll probably do another one soon because I do love a good thriller in the summer. And that is that. That's what I got for you. So highly recommend First Lie Wins and the new couple in 5B. Whatever the opposite of highly recommend is, that is what I give to the um, Last Miss Parish. And then the hike, try it out. Meh, it might be good for you. You might enjoy it. It's, it's definitely a different setting than our typical thrillers right now. So I enjoy. Um, I think the emoji for today will be a bird because there's so many freaking birds around. I hope you can hear them. I love the sound of them when I'm filming. I just do. And they're always so crazy up here. And make sure you drink your water. Be kind to yourself and others and go out and have a good day on purpose and i'll see you in the next video when we wake, bye hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times